Hello everybody. Well, it's that time of the year again. Trees up, presents are wrapped, decorations are up. It's Christmas again. It doesn't seem 12 months since I did my last Christmas video, but uh, obviously it was more or less to the day as well. Um, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to start off by saying thank you very much for being around, hanging around for the past year. Um, it's been quite a successful year, I think, as far as YouTube's concerned. Um, sub count's gone up, views have gone up. It's been all around really quite good. Um, and it's all down to you, so uh, thank you very much. So what's made it successful, I think, is um, starting up a separate Twitter account specifically for gaming people, simsy people. Um, and I've made some really good friends on there. Um, I don't need to name you because you know exactly who you are. And the community that I've built around that has been really good, really supportive. And it's nice to be able to sort of post my videos that I upload on that account rather than my sort of regular account where probably people aren't particularly bothered about what I do on YouTube and also on Facebook as well. I don't post on there anymore. Um, as far as the videos are concerned. So it's nice to be able to have a little bit more control over that. Um, another thing that's made it successful is I did a, a really, really popular um, Let's Play called 24 Hours with Anne, which um, started off with as something that I just, I don't know, I just thought about doing it. And I did. And I honestly didn't expect it to be as successful as it was. And um, the views that I was getting and the comments and the likes were really quite remarkable and uh, I did enjoy it, really enjoyed it. Um, I do miss New Quest though, I must admit. Um, I think that was because that was my first Let's Play and yes, we did a, a really good 20 episode first series. And I did say I would do a second series, um, but I haven't had the <sighs> inspiration if that's the right word to do it. Um, I've tried a few times, but um, I couldn't really get back into it. But I will do. I will probably do something next year. We'll see. Um, but just to talk about next year and what my plans are, I think something that I've had to sort of have a little chat with myself about is I have to remind myself that uh, this channel is it's just a hobby. It's just something that I fill my spare time up with doing. And I put myself under a lot of pressure this year to make sure that I get a video out every Saturday. Um, and I had to kind of take a step back and think, well, if this is a hobby, why am I putting myself under so much pressure? So there's going to be a few changes next year. Um, yes, there is still going to be Sims content, but it's not going to be the main topic on my channel. Um, I've found out recently that review videos are more popular. Um, in fact, if you remember a few months ago, I did the, um, the Snap-on Smile review, which was hysterical to do. Um, but that's had two and a half thousand views, which is ridiculous. <laughs> but that's what people like. So it seems, and um, I obviously do them quite well. As you know, two and a half thousand people can't be wrong. So I've got a couple more lined up for next year, and we'll, I'll probably do a lot more than that as well. So um, yes, yeah, Sims content will still be there, but it won't be the main part of my channel. Um, vlogs are really popular as well. Um, the holiday vlog that we did when we went to Amsterdam in July um it's had well over a thousand views um and people like to use those as a reference point um if they're going to go on the same cruise or, or visit the same places they'll search videos find mine and um obviously get a lot out of it so a lot more vlogs or vlogger logs as i call them and um probably a good thing um we'll see about this but um john has said that he wants to be a little bit more active on the on the vlogs as well so you'll be seeing a lot more of him next year, um, which should be fun. Um, I don't know. See, the thing is, he doesn't mind being in videos, but 
he won't watch them once they're posted. He doesn't like to see himself. So um, I might have to talk him round into getting used to seeing himself on camera and seeing himself on videos. And then obviously he'll be able to start watching himself. Um, but we'll see about that anyway. Um, so as far as plans for next year are concerned, um, I don't think I'll be posting as many videos as well. Um, yes, Saturdays was probably a good opportunity or a good time to post videos but like I said earlier on there was so much pressure on myself to make sure that a video was going to go out on Saturday I was not doing things that I could have done like um, going out for a coffee with friends or doing things around the house it was the main focus of my Saturdays and Saturdays would go so quickly because I was concentrating on making videos it kind of sort of my weekends just vanished so I think I've got to take a little bit of time out um, and concentrate on on the real world really um, I know I watched a video of a sort of kind of a a light bulb moment really um, if you look at Bree Simulator's um, three-year video that she recorded um, a few months ago she makes a lot of sense in stuff and the stuff that she was saying and the fact that she was saying that she was putting pressure on herself by putting sort of three four five videos a week out and um, she found that it wasn't getting enough the same amount of views that she would have expected by putting that all those videos out and she's sort of taken a step back now and she's only going to be posting fewer videos um I think it's all about looking after yourself um, and not sending yourself a little bit stir crazy by making YouTube and videos the main focus of what you're doing. Um, you know, there is a life out there and you've got to go and live it because we're not here for that long. Right. OK, so what we'll do now is we'll um, pop upstairs into the office and we'll have a look on YouTube. I will um, show you some videos or not so much videos, some um, YouTube accounts that I follow and would like to give a mention to. I've kind of stopped watching the big YouTubers these days. Um, I think since I've set up the second Twitter account, I've realised that there are a lot more smaller YouTubers like me out there and their content is just as good, if not better, than the, uh, than the, the, the big names um like i've stopped watching um claire siobhan now because it seems that she's got herself um a video editor and somebody who sort of helps give her ideas for videos and although they're okay it's kind of not what we expect from her and also she's got a bit she's got a bit shouty now which um I'm not that keen on. I mean, I will still pop on and watch them occasionally, but it's not the main focus of what I watch on YouTube anymore. I still watch Deligracy, um, because I do really like her content and I think she's a really nice person, so I do stick with her. But I think Delhi is probably the only account I actually take any notice of as far as the big YouTubers are concerned. But lots of smaller YouTubers. Now, I'll mention about five or six when we go upstairs to the office, but um, if I don't mention you and I do subscribe to your channel, don't think I don't like you, because I do, I like all the channels, all the channels that I subscribe to, it's just that these are the channels that I watch more regularly. So let's pop upstairs and we'll have a look. Right, so here we are in the office, and what we're going to do now is um, have a look at some of the YouTubers that I watched most this year. Now the difference between this year and last year is last year they were all you know, big famous YouTubers. Um, this year they are more smaller, more entertaining YouTubers. So let's crack on straight away. And first on the list, Brie. Lovely Brie. Now I've been subscribed to Brie's channel for about two years now. Um, and she's a hard worker. I have to say she is a very hard worker. She's posting videos. She's also... Um, at university she's a very very busy girl um, but she always puts such great content out and the great news is she hit 500 subscribers this year which is brilliant she's currently on 528 so she's on the up um, and I can really see some great things for her next year next on the list 
Alan CH. Now, if you want to watch a channel who posts videos of playing Sims, it's as simple as that. This is what Alan does. He just plays Sims. No frills, just plays Sims. And it's really, really good quality, relaxing content. If you want to sort of grab a cuppa and just sit and relax and watch some Sims, then go on to Alan's channel. Now, why he's only got 37 subscribers is completely beyond me. Um, but I can really see it going up next year because he is a, he's a great guy and he's got a lovely voice as well. So um, go and check his channel out. I think you'll like it. Next on the list, Triple X9 or my mate Jordan. Um, he has hit a thousand subscribers this year. In fact, he's on 1.6 thousand now. So he is absolutely on the up. Um, really great content. Um, he just sounds so friendly, looks so happy. He's doing the right thing. I mean, his, his content is really, really entertaining. So um, have a look at his channel. Give him the support that he deserves. Who's next? My girls, Three Sisters Gaming. I could sit and watch their channel forever. Quite literally forever. They do podcasts. So imagine three girls sat around a table having a gossip. That's what you get with Three Sisters Gaming. You can just imagine them just sat there chatting away to the heart's content and building some of the most incredible builds. Um, they're absolutely amazing. Uh, they're just really, really entertaining. Um, they're funny. They're controversial sometimes. Um, they're just three girls having a chat. And if you have a look at their channel, I think you're going to enjoy it just as much as I do. And finally, Kawaii Pixie. Ah, Danny. Now, Danny doesn't live too far away from me. She lives down in Sheffield. Um, and I can honestly say I think she's been my rock this year. Is Danny. Early on in the year, I was getting a little abuse um, because of my age and what I do on YouTube. Um, but Danny kind of stuck up for me, and um, as a result, she's become a good friend. And we do have the occasional little chats, which is nice. And um, we have had a little chat about doing a collaboration sometimes. So, Danny, if you're still interested, I'm sure you are, we'll get that sorted out next year. Right, so there are my five favourite YouTubers for 2019, and I'm sure that all of them are just going to go great guns for next year. Um, so if you want to check out their channels, please do, because I think you'll like them. Right, that's about it for me. What I'll do now is we'll pop downstairs and we'll say our goodbyes for this year. Right, so that is a wrap for 2019. This is going to be um, the last video of the year for me. I'm going to spend the rest of the time enjoying Christmas and New Year with John and the cats and some friends of ours. So um, all that's left now really is to wish you a very Merry Christmas wherever you are, whether it be indoors like me, shivering in the cold or sat on the beach somewhere. Not jealous at all. <laughs> Whatever you're doing anyway, have a really great Christmas and a very happy new year. And I look forward to speaking to you all in 2020. Take care.